Hi, in this video, we're going to explore some different options in sorting a pivot table. So let's say we have a range of data here, and we're going to turn this into a pivot table. Go to insert, select pivot table, let's put it on a new sheet, and let's just put by product, and maybe quantity, quantity ordered, and then quantity sold, right? So in this respect, we can sort by a label. As you can see by default, it sorts this label, these these row, this, the first row here, or this first uh, category here. You see the drop down here. It's going to default by alphabetical order, ascending, and if we can also make it descending, Z to A, so it'll go five, four, three, two, one, and that's when we can sort it. We can also sort it by the values here. So I can select that, and you can see that. This is probably not a good one because uh, it's already kind of sorted by ascending. Let's look at something like this and a sort by ascending because we have 2000 right here. So let's right click, go to sort, and smallest to largest, and now you notice that it's sorting by ascending in uh, the data field. So now it's sorting by the values in the data field, right? So it's sorting by our values category. We have our product in the rows category and this column get a category just has the sum of the values because there's more than one values in the values field, right? So that's another way to sort it. We can also sort the field from left to right. So what I can do is add a, another field into the rows category, right? So now I've got a couple different uh, rows categories. Let's put this into the table view. Go to report layout. By default, when you create a pivot table, it shows it in compact form and usually it's kind of nicer to show it in table form, right? It gives you a little bit better view of it. Uh, this is some, probably something you're a little bit more used to. Now if we notice here, we can also sort, do some some sorting here, but now since we've got uh, two categories, we've got a region and we've got a product, it's going to sort by the highest level category here. So let's say I decided to sort by the sum of ordered here, like right now it's 7241.87, Let's make that sort a little bit different. I'll right click, go under sort, or maybe the we have that menu kind of blocking us. So let's just go to home and we we'll use the sort function here in the ribbon. All right, so I selected that cell. I go to sort and maybe I'll go sort smallest to largest, right? So now you know it sorted from smallest to largest here. Now, one thing to take note of is we can also sort by the fields here. Right, so if I sort it by alphabetical order, you'll notice that uh, North should come first, right? And it does that, but it does it within the confines of this particular field. You you'll notice that this doesn't change, but if I change the sort sort order of my totals here, you can if I clicked on that total here, 72, 200, 284, 142 should come next. So if I go under there, I click smallest to largest. Now you notice that it does sort by that, right? But it's going to sort it based on the highest level category field here, right? It's not going to sort by this. You can notice that um, within this particular category, even though it, it sorted these in alphabetical order, 72 comes before 142, 200 becomes comes if, comes a, excuse me comes after um, 142. These are these are sorted in an alphabetical order. What's inside? the higher level category doesn't sort. You notice that it's different, right? This sorts within the the particular re, the, the particular uh, items here. Now we can also go enter the sort and go to sort options. If we click on this area, let me click on the area, we can go here and we do a custom sort. And let's say we want to sort our region. Uh, we we want to make this uh, alphabetical, which it already is, but if we wanted to do it by the values here, we can have our options here. So maybe you want to sort that from least to greatest. So the sum of ordered, click OK. Now you notice that's also changed, right? So now we have the sum, we have our sort order here, which is ascending, and we also have a sort order there, uh, which is ascending. So we have to kind of be aware that when you do the sorting, you have to know which category field you're sorting so you can do the correct sort. Now there's other ways we can also sort when you think about it. Let's move one of our values away. Let's move the quantity sort away. And maybe we will move the region up here. 
So in addition to sorting kind of up and down, we can also sort uh, left to right. So in this instance, when we moved our region into the columns, let's say I wanted to sort in alphabetical order, I can go from A to Z, and now you notice it sorts it that way, E, N, S, W. So that's in the alphabetical order. Now, if I wanted to do some sorts within the rows, let's say, for example, I wanted to sort everything in item three ascending, I can also do that. So if I wanted to sort item three and, and just sort here in the values here ascending, I can click in my values category here, any of the cells here, right click, or, or maybe I'll just go under the sort and filter here and do the custom sort. And it's gonna come up with a different window. You see that it's a little bit different. Now let's me sort here. We have the option to sort from left to right and we can go smallest to largest. So 77 should come first for item three here. So if I click OK, now you notice that that has changed, right? And so when you change the fields and kind of move it up in the columns, you can do also some additional sorts within the values area. Now, let's say, for example, you didn't really care about sorting in the data, the value section, and you just wanted to sort this, and you, you were kind of particular in terms of where you wanted to show up. You wanted north to come up first, and then south, and then east and west. You can actually move these. So if I hover over these and it turns into a four-sided arrow, I can kind of move this over here. You can see it turns into a, uh, a bar there. I can move that there, and north changes there. And another way to do uh, that customized sort is I can also type in the word. So if I wanted to put south over here, I could just type S O U T H south, and it's going to change. It's going to exchange places with that. So in a pivot table, there's many ways you can sort, and you can sort. You can sort in the uh, category fields. You can sort in the values fields, and you can sort in the categories fields whether whether they're in the rows or in the columns. So there's many options for you to kind of look at data differently within a pivot table by sorting your fields and also your values. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.